Hey there folks and welcome back to Space Engineers Survival Exploration Mode. Today we have some things to do that are not in regards to finishing this base. I am kind of yearning for some action so we might actually go after that mining carriage down there. And before we do that, I don't believe we actually changed this over to our ownership, so we better do that if we are to not have our ship shot at by our own base once we put ammunition in it. So let's open this up. Control panel. We are already at the control panel. And yes, this is not ours yet. So let's transfer this to me. Yes, thank you very much. Let's go to the inventory. See, do we have any missiles in here? 30 missiles. That should be enough. Plenty of ammunition. I'm going to actually take that silver ore out of there. I don't know why it's in there. And we don't need it in there. So let's grab that. There we go. Silver. Can't grab that? I wonder why. I should be able to. Unless it's in a different cargo container, which it might be. It might be in this cargo container down here. It's got to be in this one. I think I had trouble with this one last time, wondering why I couldn't get the silver out. Whoop, that's not how you spell silver. There we go. And, well, I guess like last episode, it's going to stay in there for all eternity until we can figure out how to get it out. I wonder if it's in one of these cargo containers and it's not transferring through the conveyors because the ship isn't on ship fuel critical oh. let me uh let me try that now that the ship's on the conveyors will work so i might actually be able to get it out can i yep yep that was the issue all along because i didn't <laughs> turn on my ship all right and it looks like this thing is no longer pointing at... Well, it's pointing at something off in the distance, but it's no longer pointing at our ship, so I might be able to put some ammunition in it. All right, now that we got the silver out, because I figured out that I'm a derp, and I didn't turn my ship on, we can... Yeah, the mining carriage is getting closer. In fact, it's getting close enough to the point where we can easily go out and intercept it. I believe the mining carriage only has one gun on it, so if we approach it from the correct angle, we should not have an issue. We're going to use our Gatling cannons to try to shoot it. We're going to see if we can take the guns out with our guns. And... We want to make sure that it doesn't despawn, so we have to do some damage to it before it does such a thing. And there it is. And we're going to have to find where the gun is on this ship by watching the laser pointer. And from there, well, let's see, it's moving in that direction. I'm guessing that's going to be up for it, so I'm going to go down because its gun is on the top. However, I could be mistaken. Alright, getting closer. Don't see it yet. Oh, I'm gonna just start shooting at it, just to make sure it doesn't despawn on us. Okay, so, yep, that's the front there. Okay, so I don't think it'll be despawning, but now we need to figure out where is the gun on this. Alright. Okay, I think I see some laser pointers coming off the back there. Actually, I don't see any anything on it at all. However, it could just be turned off. Or maybe we're approaching it from the right angle already. It could be actually, yeah, I think we are. So, inertial dampeners off. Okay, let's slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Yes, we... Oh, we approached it from the perfect angle. Nope, 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 slow down! Okay, okay, okay. This is not a very maneuverable ship. Okay, now we need to burn down. Oh, God, don't, don't get in the line of fire. 
So we might actually be able to latch onto this ship without even doing any damage to it. Oh, okay. Now that we did some damage to it, it's definitely not going to despawn. Okay, now we need to try to, as we've done many times before, zero our velocity with it and dock. Alright, this is actually going not too bad. And we, once we get in proximity, I'm going to lock onto it. Alright. Are we getting closer? We are getting closer in proximity. Locked. Okay, now inertial dampeners on. We are going to slow this thing down slowly but surely. And there's nothing this ship can do about it. And we're going to have a fully functional ship without any damage to it except for a little bit of denting that I caused to it. And this is actually going to be really nice because we could use a good solid transporter between Space Base Alpha and Bravo. Our speed is reduced to almost nothing, so I can hop out now. And now I'm going to see if I can get inside of it and transfer all of the controls to us without actually obliterating it. I think this would be a very successful pirate attempt, I would say, if we can do such a thing. I know a lot... Yep, access denied. I knew that was going to happen, so... On the important components like the reactors and stuff, we'll have to grind them away and then build them back up. But that isn't an issue. It might take a little bit of time, but overall, it will be totally worth it because we don't have to build this. We don't have to refine any of the components. We don't have to assemble any of the components. All in all, successful as I would call it. Uh-oh. I think that Gatling cannon is shooting at the its own ship. Eh. I heard some nasty noises coming from over there. Or maybe that's just me hitting the control station. Okay. Now let's rebuild the control station. Now I should be able to get into it. There we go. Come on. There we go. Okay, no, it's not shooting at anything. Okay, so let's go to control panel, access denied. Well, we're going to control as much as we can. So we do not have access to the big thrusters, the cargo containers, the reactors, and the gyroscopes. However, where are the Gatling cannons? Gatling cannons? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Gatling turret access denied. That's fine. So what I am going to do is be very careful. Well, actually, it's going to shoot at me if I do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away the reactor. And then we're going to take away the other reactor to make sure it has no power. We're going to do the same thing with the Gatling turret while it has no power, so we don't have to worry about getting shot at. Okay, there we go. And now it should have no power. I'm gonna peek, take a peek. Yep, it's just drifting right now. So, I'm going to do the same thing with this. I can see our ship is having a very hard time controlling this. But I imagine it would as it is a small ship, not a big one. We need to do the same thing with the gyroscopes then, and once we do that, the ship should be under our control again. Oh my god, what's it doing? Um. Hey, behave. <laughs> behave, I'm gonna turn you off, okay? It shot at the antenna. So we're going to toggle the block off. So the antenna is no longer functioning. Eh, whatever. Worst things have happened. Alright, now we need to turn this reactor on again. I think we need to do the same thing with the gyroscopes and a couple of other things, and it should be good. In 
fact, we should be able to make it back to our home base. And yes, as you can see, ah, uh, damage effects. There are damage effects now. The gyroscopes were over here, so let's pirate these, take them over. It's pretty easy. Do the same thing on the other side. And then, I don't think I turned inertial dampeners on. Maybe if I did that, that would help this thing to stop drifting all over the place. All right, there we go. Yeah, it's it would definitely help. So let's turn the inertial dampeners on. This is this ship is pretty much completely under my control, except for the antenna. Come on, there we go. And the cargo containers. Inertial dampeners on. I'm going to turn the inertial dampeners off on the small ship, and that should help with this drifting issue. In fact, I'm going to turn the entire ship off, because we don't need it on anymore. It's done its job. Okay. And hopefully it should stop drifting. Otherwise, I'll have to take control of it, which I think I will. And are these the rea- er, well, we'll see. We'll see if the sh ship is under our control. Eh. Alright, let's get in here and actually try to control this. Okay. Well, let's go back to Space Base Alpha. Well, actually, first, let's take a look at what's under our control and what is not. So we have the mining carriage which is the broadcast antenna or the beacon. There might be a beacon on here. Oh, that is the beacon. Okay, well, let's head back to base. Power usage is overloaded. That's because I'm struggling with the gyroscopes and the thrusters. Okay, well, I'm not, not Bravo. We want to go to Space Base Alpha because it's a lot closer. And I don't believe there's any active turrets on our base right now that have ammunition, so I should be able to get fairly close without getting shot at. However, on the initial dampeners off. On the journey here, I'm going to... Oh, boy. I was going to go out and see if I can grind away some of the stuff, but it looks like, despite the fact that the ship is off underneath that's docked to it, it's still causing all sorts of control issues, but as soon as we get back to our base, we can completely bring this under our control, and we'll have a nice space taxi tug. Oh my god, I'm getting way too close. <laughs> Alright. We're slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. A lot of magnesium on the underside of this. I never realized there's a lot of magnesium on the underside of this particular asteroid, but there there it is. Okay. Um, I hope the turrets on the Voyager are turned off. Yeah, they're not pointing at me. I think I turned them off a while ago. Yeah, we can get close to the base. Oh, come on. Alright, and then we're going to detach the ship underneath that's causing all sorts of control issues. And then we'll bring the rest of the ship under our control. There we go. Well. Okay. Ow. Well, I died. But luckily... Where am I going to respawn? Let's just respawn in our Voyager ship. Yeah, I've died several times by exiting that piloting chair on the mining carriage. I did it in my original survival series, and my dead corpse was floating, and it was alive. I remember that. That scared the crap out of me. So let's turn this on. Ship let's detach. Critical. There we go. And it's stopped the spinning. That was an issue. In fact, I'm going to go see if my dead corpse is there so I can pick up its remains. Well, that was a successful mission. All 
All right. And just park this thing right here. There we go. And oh, not nothing to lock yet. There we go. Do, do we break off our landing gear? We broke off our landing gear. Oh well, that's a small price to pay for the awesome ship that we got. I think we broke off the landing gear when we disconnected. Well, let's take a look. We were docked, like, right here. Yeah, there's all sorts of damage to this, so that's probably why. Alright, well, it's nice to know we actually still have the talent to capture ships. And now that we have oh, enough fighter craft, I might feel brave enough to go get some of those more dangerous ships out there. And yep, there's my dead body. And what do I have on me? Yeah, just some steel plates, that and that and that. Well, we can put that in the cargo containers in here. I believe these are not technically under our control, but now they are. Or maybe they were. I don't know. Let's take a look and see. Is this under our control? Access denied. Well, it's going to be under control soon enough. There we go. And there's the beacon as well. Well, let's take this because I think this is not under our control. The beacon and then the antenna. And that should be about it then. Oh, missing interior plate. That's unfortunate. Luckily, we can still use that. Alright, beacon, you can go away. And yes, it's under our control, finally. Okay, now let us... Take a look and see what's under our control and what is not, and we will finish this. So control panel, antenna incomplete, collector, and connector. Those are the only two that we need to bring under our control. So we have the connector here. I don't know where the collector is, but we will find it. All right now, collector, collector, where did you go? I imagine you were going to be probably down here, right? No. Hmm. Just gonna fix a couple of these blocks. There we go. It might be in the interior of the ship, possibly. I don't think it would be. Okay, well, we surveyed that side, we surveyed that side. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Alright, the ship is completely ours now. We just need to finish the antenna. And we're actually going to finish these blocks as cool as they look, you know, just incomplete like that. Uh, the structural integrity is quite compromised when you don't have any any steel plates in there, so I'm going to fix that, as well as we are going to fix some of the other things. I think we needed some interior plate for, here, let's put this in the refinery and it'll turn into iron. We need some interior plate. Oh. Production. A couple of these to finish that large cargo container. And then we needed a couple gra- nope, not gravity generator components, we needed radio communication components, not sure how many. And probably some of these, and some steel plates. I think that should be enough to fix what we need to fix on that ship. Let's go into the inventory, grab this stuff. And yeah, that'll that'll be fine for now. I think that's enough to fix what we need to fix. And when it comes to actually building things, we have that welding ship, so not really concerned about that. Alright. 
So was it this one that needed the... Yep. Oh, we need just a couple more. It's not an issue. And then there's this thing. There we go. We have enough to finish the antenna. The antenna is... Not ours yet. I thought I fixed that. Okay, now it's ours. Beautiful. Now we have a fairly complete ship. I can't complain about that. Steel plates. We have some steel plates. We might as well throw them in here while we have time. Okay, and that's it. So we didn't have much, but we'll finish the rest with the welding ship. And yeah, I think that was a very successful episode. So thank you folks for watching. And I will see you guys next time.